What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. Earthmaster here jumping in on the live stream on this uh, May 26, 2021 is the date, about 3.34 p.m. my time here in California. And uh, latest quake out there on the globe is a uh, 4.6 out there around the, uh, what do we got out here? Ooh, Taiwan area. Well, let me get it more specific where that's at. Right around, Jap well, it shows Japan on the USGS map, but right around t uh, Taiwan area on the earthquake 3D globe. Uh, you can see on this map right here, USGS lists this as a 4.6 northwest of uh, uh, the Japan region, but uh, realistically, a little bit closer to um, uh, Taiwan uh, on this map. A lot of going, a lot of stuff going on here uh, today, folks. Um, we're still kind of waiting on the solar weather, solar wind stream, if you will. Uh, to potentially spark some geomagnetic uh, storms. It looks as though, uh, at least according to this map here, a little increase. Uh, well, we did have increase in the density. Um, when was that? Uh, looks like, I think it was last night sometime, and it went down. Speed is kind of ramping up a little bit, but nothing significant. I mean, I, I'm almost tempted to call this thing a dud when it comes to the... Um, solar flare it's still oh there we go look at that i didn't see this um, those graphs must be be uh behind according to this map uh looks like this was updated <coughs> pretty recently uh we are getting the head start of it the start of it right there kp index up around the five zone right now you can see the auroras strengthening right here uh i'm sure that's going to ramp up tonight as well not for sure why the other map showed uh it could be behind half an hour an hour who knows but uh definitely getting uh um some kp indexes up there around the five zone right now potentially looking at uh tonight uh g2 class storm six uh 80 percent chance of uh geomagnetic storming in the higher latitudes that's pretty good 80 percent and mid latitudes have a 35 percent chance you know that's better than zero i mean i wouldn't mind seeing some uh some pretty cool stuff up in the sky uh, so we will keep an eye on that I'll probably do a little bit later update a video on this uh, uh, solar storm should it arrive um, and strengthen I mean it's arrived it looks like it has arrived but we'll see if it uh, str strengthens up a little bit uh, did you guys hear about that great Sitcon Sitkin volcano small eruption uh, very small and very short eruption uh, that happened um, uh, when was that? Yesterday? Yesterday, I believe, somewhere around there. Late last night, early early this morning, somewhere. Um, the Alaskan Volcano Observatory actually issued a red aviation alert uh, for that volcano, meaning that significant emission of volcanic ash into the atmosphere is likely. It was a, uh, it was a pretty short duration uh, explosive eruption. Um, and it sent up it sent up an ash cloud, uh, roughly right around fifteen thousand feet, I I believe, uh, above the sea level. But seis seismic activity, and uh, as far as eruption status goes, there hasn't been any increase in activity. It's actually decreased. So the AVO Alaskan Volcano uh, Observatory downgraded it back to an orange watch. A decrease in aviation color code and alert level to orange watch due to decreased activity so for a little while uh, just a short time it shot up there into the red which is uh, pretty uh pretty significant there meaning that the, the eruption is happening so wow pretty crazy this is something to watch um as you know it could it could increase a little bit further We'll just have to keep an eye on this and see exactly uh, where uh, I wanted to look at the uh, hold on a second here. Here's the ash fall forecast, but this is moving up to the northeast. It looks like away from uh, the volcano there. Uh, a trace amount, just minor amounts here. So it's not a significant ash fall at all, uh, but a little bit of increase in activity nonetheless um, there's a lot of useful information on this site 
uh, at the avo.alaska.edu website. Um, I will uh, supply a link in the video description below. Uh, that way you guys can check it out if you want on your own time. Uh, but I will be watching this activity as well in the Aleutian Island chain out there uh, at the Great Sitkin Volcano, which is now back down to an orange alert level. Uh, volcanic activity in that region on the USGS map here, this is the all magnitude, shows uh, some of the seismic activity that's taken place over the last 24 hours. These are some small quakes at uh, the northwest part of the volcano, which sits right here. Uh, depth, the depths here uh, are variable. Gonna have to watch this pretty closely if we start seeing a major increase in uh, potentially uh, around the volcano or, or deeper movement in this area. Uh, or surface movement, uh, it's something to pay attention to. But for now, looks like seismic activity is calming down. Uh, there was a pretty deep earthquake over here, 2.4, 222 kilometers below surface, uh, just a ways away from the volcano. Uh, so just kind of keep an eye on it, folks. Got my radar on this one here. Uh, see if this thing pops up anymore uh, in the, the near future. There's that 4. Uh, 4.6. I thought it was a 4.7. Maybe they uh, downgraded it. Anyway, still looking at a cluster of quakes over here around Taiwan. Um, we talked about this last night, seen some upper fours. Now we're just looking at some mid fours, 4.6 to be the largest in this little cluster of quakes. And uh, a little bit of movement around the Japan area, but nothing significant. In fact, if you look at the dynamics over here of the plate boundary on this uh, Pacific plate, we're looking at an absence of earthquake activity over the last uh, 24 hours, which uh, is worrisome, <laughs> very worrisome, right? We just, uh, we don't go too long out here before something really ramps up. And I'm really surprised that it still hasn't happened up here in Japan, uh, in this little area that I've just been talking about here for the past few weeks. Um, still, still possibly on target, although I think with the Taiwan area seeing a significant swarming there over the last, last couple days. I uh, wouldn't be surprised somewhere around the Philippines or just north of Taiwan in this area here, south of Japan seeing uh, potential for some significant earthquake activity. Uh, but then again, uh, it, 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 it's hard to say exactly where it's gonna go, where the built up pressure is. All I know is when things get quiet, uh, that's the time to pay attention. Um, in Hawaii, a little bit of movement going on there at the uh, Mauna Loa volcano, right around the uh, western edge there, a 2.1, a pretty shallow earthquake, uh, 1.4 kilometers below surface, and also a little earthquake up here, deeper movement, uh, just outside of the Mauna Loa area, 14.8 uh, kilometers for this uh, most recent earthquake up there. And of course, typical southeast uh, flank cluster of quakes there, nothing new, nothing changing there, and nothing significant uh, different to report in that region. A little bit of movement down there around Santa Barbara area. See Santa Barbara down there in Southern California, you got the Santa Barbara Chanel. Uh, <laughs> oh goodness. Did I have caffeine today? I think I did. I can't remember. I've been up, I was up all night uh, trying to get video of the, um, Eclipse, the super moon, the blood moon, the flower. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, it was pretty cool. I got a lot, a lot of cool pictures, but uh, the video, I just could not work with this camera. I could not get it to tune in and make a successful video that I would want to put up on my channel. So I did post some pictures on the, um, on my, on my uh, Earth Master Facebook page, but uh, just a couple pictures, but I would have loved to have some video. Just, it didn't work out, unfortunately, but it was pretty cool to witness. Nonetheless, I couldn't go back to sleep until about seven in the morning. And then my, uh, nephew woke me up at nine. So I got two hours of sleep. I'm running on very minimal sleep. So, uh, a little, little shaker out here, um, south of Santa Barbara, Ventura area out in the ocean, the 3.4, 11 kilometers, pretty deep, but quite a few folks reported feeling that earthquake out there. Uh, you check out Did You Feel It reports here, and mostly light shaking around the Santa Barbara and Oxnard area. And you can see it's a highly densely populated region, uh, so the reports are going to be high. 
Uh, it looks like quite a few folks all over the area down there reported feeling that uh, deep 3.4 earthquake. It's not super deep, folks, but it's not your standard six, uh, five to six kilometer um, range earthquake that you normally would see in Southern California. Uh, so kind of watching, uh, watching that region as well. Uh, haven't seen any more aftershock activity. No oddball movement in Southern Cal at the moment. Uh, this just looks like a typical everyday microquake swarming around the Ridgecrest area uh, and up around Nevada. Uh, as far as Northern California goes, really nothing significant either in this region. Lassen Peak, uh, Lassen Volcano sits right here. There's a small little earthquake to the north, about 10 miles outside of uh, Lassen Peak area, uh, 1.4, but no significant movement along the uh, uh, Cascade Volcano Range uh, or the Sierra Nevadas down there. Uh, a little bit of movement here in Mount St. Helens. This is nothing big, but uh, a couple of small quakes at the right smack dab at the summit of Mount St. Helens. We can check that out on the uh, trimmer map, uh, volcanic seismicity, Mount St. Helens are right here. I gotta watch the time um, and see what these guys have on their map. Let's see here, what time is it? 3.48, okay. Um, come on, come on. There we go. So yeah, there is there is the, what was that that we had a uh, 1.9? Look, wait a minute, that's, that's way up there about, that's way up there by uh, Mount Rainier. We'll check that here in a second. 1.0. Okay, 1.0. Could that be a 1.0? That looks a little bit larger than 1.0. Either way, um, just very small signatures. Nothing major to report there at uh, St. Helens uh, that I can see. Uh, Mount Rainier, I want to check that out here real quick. Go back and... Uh, see what we got there. A little bit of earthquake activity up there as well. That red one is a 1.9. Um, and that is right smack dab there on the uh, volcano summit. Depth of this earthquake very, very shallow. Look at that. It looks like it has been reviewed. Version number two. This event has been reviewed by seismologists. That's a pretty shallow earthquake there, folks. Really shallow. Extremely shallow uh, for this volcano. And, and the seismic magnitude right there is kind of large. Uh, we've seen some small microquakes there talking about 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, uh, somewhere around there. But this here is almost a two-pointer, and it's really, really shallow. We're going to have to pay attention here, see if uh, seismic activity ramps up in that area there's ah uh, i i don't believe that's i well could that be the uh 1.9 when was that 1650 yes 1653 is the time right there you look on this 16 between 1620 and 1720 so 1653 is going to sit right about there for that 1.9 so prior to that, during the day, the night, last night, uh, I don't really see any seismic activity. And following this 1.9 today within the last couple hours, uh, just a little speck of a quake right there, but doesn't look too concerning, uh, but still something to pay attention to, uh, considering that uh, shallow, very shallow earthquake right there. Uh, what else we got here, folks? Um, not a whole lot. I will be back a little bit later this evening. Uh, to talk a little bit more about um, the uh, solar weather event that's coming in. We'll see how strong it kicks up. Oklahoma still getting in on some action around Quinton and uh, Texas out there as well. A bunch of severe weather, severe weather up around uh, Kansas, Nebraska, and parts of uh, Colorado out there right now as we speak. So make sure you're, if you're out there, keep your eyes to the sky and, and of course, your emergency radio handy. That's for sure. All right, folks, um, we will talk at you a little bit later on on the update video, folks. Uh, hope you have a good day, and uh, we'll see you tonight. Peace out.